Mm. Today's mailbag, lubricated by Diesel Fitter Stout by Torque Brewing Winnipeg. I'd like to have a poster of that up on the wall, actually. That's a pretty cool, uh, pretty cool logo. Anyway, look at all these things that I have here to open. Did I just do that? Did I just open the bag with the camera paused? Let's quick hide this. Cable, LED, 13 times 2. <gasps> Wonder what's in it. Oh, look, it's LED strips. Uh, um, so two foot long LED strips. And this one here has been damaged in shipping. There's a major crack in the uh, weatherproof coating on there. And another one there. Um, so these are 50-50 size LEDs. Uh, 5.0 millimeters this way by 5.0 millimeters that way. Ostensibly, anyway. And i got two of these strips. They are, as I said, weather resistant with this kind of silicone-y, rubbery kind of coating stuff on there. But I guess uh, it looks like the backing may not have gotten shredded. Let's uh, find out. Oh, yeah, and it's self adhesive. Although it doesn't have 3M uh, adhesive, it's just M. Hmm. hmm. Let's see if these guys work. So we'll put five ish volts on the power supply. Ish. Turn him on on and we'll just do a quick connect first of all onto the one that's not abused and damaged and it lights up really really dim so that's probably a 12 volt pop the power supply up to 12 volts that's more like it Ooh, they're red so that's interesting. The 50-50 package with six leads on it normally has either an RGB LED in it or something like a WS2811 or 2810 or 2012. Yeah, that's it. 2812 or something like that. Clearly this ain't that. But it is a fairly pleasing red color. At 12 volts, the whole the foot-long strip is drawing 64 milliamps or thereabouts. Now then, the one that has suffered for its travels. Let's see. Oh, would you look at that? It lights up all the way to the far end and draws the same amount of current. Okay, so it must just be the weatherproof uh, coating that got gibbled in traffic. Two pieces LED strip light red bulb car 505012 SMD 30 centimeter flexibles lamp lighting kit. I got mine at auction for 66 whole cents with free shipping. However, being an auction, the listing is long gone. But here's another one that's got it at auction right now. Um, and, well, actually, it'll be gone. Well, no, there'll be a little bit of time when you, uh, when you see this, maybe. But... I'll, I'll link to the search term regardless rather than to an individual listing because as we saw on the previous page, there's lots of people selling these things all at auction. Input 12 volts, 5050 SMD, ultra bright LEDs, 12 of them, 11.8 inches. Wow, that's a surprisingly conservative measurement. 120 degree viewing angle, quarter amp, uh, yeah, a little bit higher, but not much. Um, for an automotive use, doesn't matter. Yeah, says 3M double-sided adhesive tape. It's not, it's just M. Uh, DC plug-in welded to the connector. Yeah. Nothing, uh, nothing too fancy about it. Just some red LED strip, which may come in handy. But for 66 cents, just something to tinker with. What do we have here? LED module LED. Hmm, could we have a whole theme? No. No, it's not an LED module. It is a breadboard. It is another breadboard. Not unlike that one or any of the other myriad breadboards that I've got kicking around here. The question, though, is, is it one of the good ones that you can easily poke components into? 
Or is it one of the crappy ones? Well, that's a good sign. What else we got in here? Hmm. I think it's one of the good ones. Yeah. Haven't bent a component lead yet. Wow, that's a good one. It's a keeper. 400 point solder with breadboard prototype PCB test taffle. Mm. Uh, I got it from Sheng Longshi. I got it at auction, but they're selling the same thing uh, from the same guy, so I'll link to this one. Um, he's currently got it on sale for $1.45 Canadian, but four sixty five shipping, holy hell. Uh, I got it at auction for dollar eighty five with free shipping. So um, search around for auctions. These things are always on auction. You don't necessarily need to get it from the same place. I got it. Okay, what is this? This is handwritten. Wow, the personal touch from Yang Yang. Uh, Two dollar value. It says on the package, which is no doubt slightly inaccurate. Ooh, a bag of LEDs. I always like a nice bag of LEDs. I wonder what flavor of LEDs these are. This is only one way to find out. There's lots of ways to find out, but the easiest is probably to light them up. Oh, hey, look at that. It's a blinky. Yeah, let's get down in your coaster and give us something to shine it on. So there we go, it's going through its colors. Oh, it's a slow, fast flashing LED. Okay. So there's a couple of different kinds of these self-flashing LEDs. There's one kind that just goes slow. And then there's these ones, which do a slow rotation, ding, 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 through the colors, and then bop through them quickly. Okay. Well, let me show you the difference. Here's one of the slow flashing one. No, wait. Oh, you're seeing PWM that I'm not seeing. That's interesting. I'm not seeing that PWM flicker when it changes between colors. It's just doing a really slow fade to my eyes. Well, that's interesting. Did the other one do a PWM flickery thing too? No, it didn't. Huh. Funky. I have to keep that in mind if I'm going to use it for something on camera. 100 pieces, 5mm RGB, 2-pin, fast flash, round LED lamps, rainbow blink. I got mine from Yang Yang8866, who no longer sells these, but I got them for $2.58. The places that are currently selling them are selling them for a fair bit more now. Um... 385 well 251 plus almost four bucks shipping yeah whatever um you can do this search just as easily as anybody else that's what i'm going to link but here's one random seller's listing um so viewing angle 20 to 25 degrees water clear um 20 milliamps all the way across there and uh yeah the different wavelengths and lumens of what happens across it Okay, nothing super spectacular, but they're fun little LEDs to put into projects, especially for minimal circuitry, right? You're not going to have to worry about uh, about blinking circuits or anything. If you put just a single one across a battery or something, like uh, 2032, they'll last for a long time. If you uh, put a whole bunch of them together, their flashing will start to get out of sync with each other and just start to look really random and cool. Next thing in, bicycle hardware accessories bracket. Hmm. Well, it is almost the season for cycling. Hmm. Doesn't look a bicycle accessory to me. It looks like an anodized red aluminum pushy button. Does that screw off that cap? Doesn't look like it. But that screws off. Okay. That's a pretty sexy little push button, actually. A little mushroom cap. 
So two pull, probably normally open, push to close. That's pretty satisfying. And who doesn't like a red button? Thread mushroom redhead momentary push button switch 1NO 2 pin 16 millimeter. One normally open, two pins. From Lo Huang 2015-9. Wow, such names. Um, currently selling for 397 Canadian. I got it at auction for a buck 44 with free shipping. Uh, oh, it's a low voltage switch, 36 volts, DC max, two amps. Okay, momentary, not much else to say about it. And the last thing I pulled out of the bin is machine parts times one. You know what that guy is? Ooh, looks like Dremel bits. Yeah, looks like they're little grinding burrs of various different shapes and sizes. Uh... As dent crown preparation anterior teeth kit diamond burrs. Oh, these are dental burrs, 10 pieces. Okay, but I'm pretty confident that they will work with a Dremel. Hmm, those are interesting. They are fairly abrasive. Okay, that'd be good for grinding small things, especially when doing modeling. Wow, look at how tiny that is. And where's the shank of these? That's a fairly fine shank. I'm pretty sure that'll fit in the Dremel call it. Dental high speed FO32S diamond burrs drill super coarse diamond 45, 450,000 RPM. Really? Wow. Uh, from Deer Bell. I bought these for door 31 Canadian or 99 cents American and free shipping. That's currently, they're, they're on auction right now, starting at that, but that's what I paid for them as well. Maximum diameter, 1.8 millimeters, um, 19 millimeter full length, 10 pieces, all the different uh, shapes and sizes. Um, maybe subject to US FDA, blah, blah, blah. Don't, yeah, if you can actually do dental work, if you're a professional dentist, don't buy cheap crap off of eBay for like, 10 cents per burr you know get them from somebody certified and qualified and who you can sue if they're diseased and blah but for hobby shop use for modeling use for grinding away at things for using in a dremel they're cheap and they're fine at least i, I think they'll be fine i don't know let's try one out and see Okay, so I've got one fitted up in my Dremel, just a basic cylindrical shaped one. And I've got a drywall screw. Let's see what happens. Full speed! Well, it did some damage. It's not going to go through there fast, but it's definitely cutting. You've got control over it anyways. How hot is it? No, it's cooled off already. Let's try something a little bit more hardened than a drywall screw. This may actually shatter. We'll see. Well, it's, uh, it's eating away at it, too. And it's warm, but it's not crazy, and it still feels quite rough and abrasive. That's still got a fair bit to it, I guess. So for cutting modeling materials, I think that'll be just fine. Well, that was as much fun as it always is. Always interesting to see what it is that I've forgotten that I ordered months ago. Um, let's, uh, I guess we should go through the usual how long these things took. The dental burrs took 22 days. Oh, I did get them at an auction. Okay. Um, and the red push button was another auction item. It took six weeks to get here. The breadboard, that's hiding underneath there, displaying those LEDs so nicely. 
took three and a half weeks. The flashy LEDs themselves took five weeks. And these LED strips, I couldn't find my note to tell me when they arrived, so I don't know how long they took. But the amount of abuse they took in the mail, whatever it was, it was too fast, obviously. They should have taken it slow and careful. Who am I to tell the post office to go slowly? Um, anyway, um, thanks to everybody for watching as usual. Um, thanks as always to my Patreon supporters who help me support my bad habits and my good habits. Um, I will talk to you again. Cheers.